Hi, today I'm just going to do a really quick video on this Newtone IM5006 Master Station. This was brought in by from a local customer, a fellow named Don, and it's been in his house, I think it's about um, 16 or 17 years, and he started to have a problem with it, and it kind of shows up in an unusual way, so I thought I'd give it a quick video and show you what one of the failure modes of an IM5006. So right now I have it just hooked up with power and an antenna. The antenna is not really going to do us a lot of good, but I'm going to go ahead and switch on the power to it and let you see what it does. And you can hear that it's got this rapid pulsating noise coming out of the speaker. The display has lit up and you can actually turn the radio on. That's AM and FM. I don't know if anything will play. Yeah, very low, but there is something, some uh, reception there. When you try to activate the door speaker, oh, I do have a door speaker connected to it also. This is what happens when you try to activate the door speaker. One of the interesting things about this is, I'm going to move the camera and show you the power supply that's replacing one of the transformers. This is the AC power supply that's being used in place of the standard Newtone transformer. And you can see that just in standby mode, it's drawing almost three quarters of an amp. If we turn the radio on, the current drops, uh, raises up to a full three quarters of an amp. If we activate the door speaker, the noise gets louder and the current goes up. This is all really bad. I also have, for the second transformer, I have a second power supply connected to it. You can see that this one isn't really drawing any current to speak of at all. That's because the transformer that this, this power supply is replacing primarily powers the circuits that power the remote speakers, and I don't have any remote speakers connected to this. So a, a properly functioning IM5000 master station, let me turn this off, will draw less than a half an amp. Usually it's somewhere uh, uh, just slightly over 250 milliamps. So this one's in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to flip this over and show you what's gone wrong with it. So we're looking at the, at the back of this IM5006 and we're looking specifically at the aluminum plate that ties the two heat sinks together. This actually, I've taken the four screws out of it so this actually comes off and I'll show you why in a second. If you look carefully on the plate right here, you'll see there's a date stamp. It says August 21st, 2001 with the letters QC underneath it. This is a stamp that was placed on this unit when it was repaired at the Newton Fa Factory Repair Center in Cincinnati, Ohio back in 2001. This is a typical type of stamp that they use back there and it's to identify the units that they have repaired. If I scan over, you'll see that on the second board there's another identical date stamp here. So we know this unit was repaired at Newtone in 2001. So why is this important? Well, this is important because it's a clue as to what's wrong and why it's wrong today. So one of the problems with units that were repaired in, at the factory in Ohio, and back in 2001, this unit would have been still been under warranty and was probably sent back to Newtone by a dealer for repair. So let's take the plate off and I'll show you why this can be a problem. So underneath the plate, this, this area is primarily the power supply section of this main board. Here we're looking at the same power supply section that we saw in the other shot. 
you have a variety of electrolytic capacitors that make up a large portion of the power supply. Even though it's a little bit hard to see, behind this really big 6800 microfarad cap right here, in fact, I'm going to move that out of the way because it's going to get replaced anyway. So no harm in just clipping it out for right now. All right, that's better. So now you can see this one right here. This is a little 47 microfarad, probably 35 volt cap, if, if I remember correctly. This cap has been replaced. This one, this one, this one, all of these, these, all the ones in here, all of these in this section, and these in here, and the big 6800 cap that I just took out, these are all still original from when this unit was manufactured. This cap was replaced. And why was it replaced? It was replaced because it failed. And when was it replaced? It was replaced in August 21st, 2001. This was the part that was replaced at Newtone when this unit was sent in for repair. The problem with this is the repairs that were done at the Newtone factory tended to be the most minimalistic repairs that you could get by with. And since this was being repaired under warranty, they replaced one part that probably cost less than a dollar. It solved the immediate problem with the set and it was sent back to the customer. This is not a proper type of repair. When we repair these units, all of these components in here are going to get replaced. In fact, you can see these two, these are a thousand microfarad at 50 volts, these two. This one you can see the top, which has the score marks in it, the top is still flat but this one, the top has bulged up. This cap has failed. This is part of the immediate problem, but it would be improper to replace just this one or even this one and this one. All of these need to be replaced. Otherwise, they're gonna to continue to fail. These type of parts fail due to age, and that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna rebuild all of this, and this set will work properly again. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube.